In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and add content. Okay, so when you get into your course, you're going to go into a content area. In this case, I'm going to go into my learning modules content. And when um, you go in to add content to your course, there's a couple different things that you can add. I can add um, an item, which is a, a page that will actually let you see it without opening it. I could add a blank page, a blank page, they, the students will just see the title to the blank page and then they have to open it to be able to see the content. I could add a file that they have to download to be able to see. Um, I could create a content folder which is this yellow folder right here. I could create a um, learning module which is um, this right here in this view. Okay. Um, I can also go in and grab, I can do a web link if maybe you're using third-party content and you want to um, have them access it through a web link. Um, you can also go in and grab videos. Um, another option if you you can upload a video that you already have or you can upload a YouTube video. You can do um, Flickr photos or SlideShare presentations and bring them right in. If you're doing an online or a hybrid class you could actually go in and, and use Atomic Learning videos in your courses. Um, you can also bring content in from Explore. So if you have um, like documents or tests or discussions out in Explore, you can add them through this way. So we're going to take a look at some of the different options um, to basically add content and text to um, your course. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to add an item. Okay, and an item you just give it the title to it. And now, whatever you put into the content editor in here, it will show up on the page. So if I have a lot of content, I probably do not want to put this into um, an item. Okay, you might want to put it in a page instead, a page they have to open to be able to see. So I might go in and just add a file to this. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to browse the computer and I'm just going to go in and just grab um, a Word document. Now keep in mind that whatever documents you have that they have to open, they have to have the program to be able to open it. So you might want to save your documents as rich text or um, uh, even uh, text type documents so that they can open them. Otherwise they might have a problem if you do a Word or a new um, Word format. Okay, so I've gone in, I've, I've attached um, a computer backup plan to this. Now, underneath, you're going to pick uh, whether you want the students to see it right now. If you want to track to see who's actually gone into it, you would turn this on. Okay, you can tell it to display on or before a, a specific date and then submit the item. Okay, so right now I've gone in and um, this is the item and this is the file that they can upload. They don't have to open it. They don't have to, I mean, they don't have to click on syllabus to open it to be able to see it. Now, I'm going to show you an example of if you put a lot of text into an item. So I'm going to go into these examples. And I've taken some content that I've actually brought in as an item and I put all this information into the text box into the content editor in here so you can see what it looks like. So instead of bringing a file, I actually pasted a whole bunch of information in here. And as you can see, the students don't have to open the item to see it, but it takes up a lot of space on your screen. Okay. Now, I did the same thing by adding a page. And if I go into this, oh, let me turn the editor on this is what they see when they open up the page. It's the same content. It's just not taking up a lot of space within the screen when they first go into it. Okay, So this one they don't have to, if they've used an item, they don't have to open it to see what's in it. But if you use a page, they have to go into the page to actually view the content. Okay, I'm going to go back to the learning modules. Now, um, another content that you might want to add is a, oh, I gotta turn my edit mode back on. Like I said, it might be a blank page. Okay, like I said, the blank page they actually have to open up. 
So if I call this computer backup plan, now what I could do is I could actually go in and I could copy something that I already have in a Word document. So I can copy it, come in here and paste it in. Now I just did a control C to paste, copy it and then control V to paste it in. Um, it works very well when you're copying from Word. Okay, And then I submit it. Okay, so there's the computer backup plan. Now because it's a page, I have to click on it for the students to be able to see it. And I'm going to turn the edit mode off so I can see exactly what the students see. So they actually open up the page to be able to see the content on the page. So it makes a difference whether you pick item or, or page for your content. All right. Now, um, one of the other things, I'm going to turn the edit mode back on again is you might want to go in and add a video. Now if you have a video that you've recorded and want to upload you would use the video option. If the video that you want is in YouTube you can select YouTube and actually do a search for the video and let's say I'm going to look up keyboarding. And I get all these keyboarding videos. Okay, So if I decide that I want to select this one Okay, I can select, maybe I want my videos to show up with blue text. And I'm going to ask them to watch the video. Okay, I can give them any instructions. Now, um, underneath the mashup, match, mashup options, you have an option to do a thumbnail, do just a link to the video or embed the video. Now if you do the thumbnail they actually have to click on it and tell it that, you, that they want to watch it. If you do an embed then the video is going to show up on the screen and they can actually walk it, watch it right from the screen. So I'm going to leave it as thumbnail. Um, maybe if I'm having a problem I, it would be a good idea to show the URL so they could always copy and paste the URL. I can add a file attachment. I do want my students to be able to see it. Um, if I want to um, see if they've actually gone in and clicked on it, I can click on that. And then I'm going to submit it. Okay, so this is how the video looks. Now they actually have to click on the video and it pops up in a separate window. If it was embedded, this would show up on the screen. It would be a little bit larger in here and they would just click on it to go ahead and start it. Okay, it would be one less keystroke and might be a little bit more accessible to students if they don't have to click on it and then start the video. Alrighty. Um, a web link. If you want to go in and add a web link, what you want to do is pick out what the, or know what the URL is. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, I'm going to grab a YouTube video and I'm going to tell it I want to share it and I'm going to copy the link. And I'm going to come in here okay, and I'm going to go down. You can add a file to it, you can add comments to it. Um, Again, you can have it open as a new window, which is recommended. Um, permit users to see it, set the tracking, and um, or set up a display after a certain date. Okay, so now I can go in and they can click on the link, and it takes them the video to get started. Okay, and because I set it up as a new tab or a new window, I can just close it and that will take them right back to the course. Okay, So you can pick and choose what items that you want to put in here. Um, we can, uh, there's going to be a whole other video on how to use the content editor and a lot of the buttons that are available in, um, in that. You can also build folders and put content into folders. 
if you decide after the fact that you need to organize your information a bit, you can make a folder and then go in and tell it to move the content into that folder. So I can go in and browse the location and throw it into a folder. And it just took that video and, and moved it in. If I have something I don't want to keep anymore, I can just click on the editing option and I'm going to tell it to delete it. It's going to tell me, yeah, are you sure you want to do that? Okay. If you need to go in and edit the information, again, you go to the drop arrow, go to edit. That will put me into the content editor where I can go in and edit the information and make changes to it if need be. And then submit it. Okay. So that's, and then you can also um, move items around in here to reorganize them. Okay. So there's all different things that you can do with the um, adding content into your course. All right, so the main thing is if you want to um, build content like a folder or a learning module to be able to hold information, you can do that. If you want to grab an item or a blank page to go in and give a file or just text, you can add a link to a file if you want to do that. If you had a, um, a sound file, you can go in and add audio, you can add images, you can add videos, web links. All right, like I said, you can have you do YouTube. Now, basically, like the syllabus, um, the course link, uh, the syllabus is going to be a page is all it's going to give you. It's just a blank page to put it in. Uh, course link is something that you might want to do if you want to um, have a link that will go to a specific spot in your course. So if I want my students to go to the course announcements and have a link to it. Okay, so within my content, I can click on course announcements now and it will go to the announcements. It's the same thing as hitting this item menu on the left hand side. So there's all different pieces of content that you can go in and add to your courses. Okay.